Yeah, I'm really proud of the girls. It's a great win for us. Um, you know, it's just put up 23 goals is a lot of goals. Um, I thought we started off slow and out of a media timeout, we asked them to really step it up when it was 7-3 and they responded really well and came up and, uh, you know, although we have a lot to work on, I think it overall was a great win and proud of the girls. Thanks coach. We'll open it up to questions again. I'll ask you to lower your hand once you've asked the question. Uh, we'll start with Dean and then we'll go to Ian. Hey, Kayla, you've coached against this team without Megan Carney. Just how big of a boost is it offensively for this group to have Megan back in the, the squad? Yeah, I mean, Megan played great today. She was four for four shooting, and um, that's really hard to do. So she just has been awesome. She's such a great leader out there. And I thought she had just a great, great day for her. And I'm really happy for her. She should feel really good about the way she played. We'll go to Ian and then James. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, in the second corner, uh, Megan Carney had an amazing goal behind the back, and the, uh, the broadcast actually caught your reaction, and you were all smiles with that one. So I was kind of just wondering, as a player yourself now and back in the day, you played with a lot of that creative flair. The Megans both had a lot of those creative goals today, whether it was dodging or stick work. How important is it for you as a coach to let your players play to their strengths, and especially with the two Megans, allow them to do what they do and, and not really restrict them on the offensive end? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really fortunate that they, I get to coach really talented players and I want them to be able to be them and, you know, take chances and play creative. And, you know, I think for both of them, they were feeling it today. And, you know, when you're on, I want them to be able to go and play free and take chances. And, you know, I think they both did that today and they both had a great game and just they have a really great connection with each other, which is really hard to stop. Next is James, then we'll go to Jackson. Coach, 11 different players scoring goals today. You had five in the fourth when you put reserves in. How good of a feeling is it to know that you can basically get offense generated from anywhere you look on, on the team? Yeah, it, it was um, there a lot of assisted goal as, goals as well. I know Meg Tyrell had three assists herself, and I think Olivia Adamson had a bunch of assists as well. So you know, it's just great. They, they share the ball really well. They're very unselfish and we have a lot of really great offensive players that are threats, you know, attackers and midfielders. So I think they all set, stepped up and they shot well today. We'll go to Jackson and then Henry. Yeah. Hey, Kayla, uh, Peyton Rowley in particular scoring her first two career goals there late in the fourth quarter. Uh, what have you seen from her, not only in this game, but in the preseason and leading up to this game that helped your team win today? Yeah, Peyton has been really consistent and uh, I'm, it was awesome to give her the opportunity today. And she got to play in the first half as well um, on that third midfield line. So it's she's, a, she's another lefty, so it helps play with more lefties on the field. And she just owned the moment, was really fearless. And when she got her opportunities, she finished. So we're proud of Peyton and Happy with her performance today. Next up, we'll go to Henry and then Adam. Hi, Coach. Uh, Megan Carney started on the bench on Friday, and today she was in the starting lineup and with an improved performance in the stat sheet. Uh, what went into the decision to bench her on Friday and start her today? Well, we didn't bench her. We just wanted to start the game. Um, and let her get a little feel for the game because this is her first competition. That was her first competition returning from a really serious injury. Um, so we just wanted to let the game go a little bit, see what the defense was playing in and then get her out there to go. And, you know, we were ready to um, just give her shorter opportunities, but she's playing great and she feels great. So we're just giving her the green light. Go to Adam, and our last question then will be from Dean. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, can you? I know you mentioned her on Tuesday in the press conference. Can you talk about, you know, Olivia Adamson's impact so far? She scored the first goal of the season against Stanford and had another two goals today. So talk about how she's been, uh, you know, playing so far this season. Yeah, Olivia's really stepped up to the plate, and um, she's earned playing time. And 
you know, she's just really talented shooter. She's a phenomenal finisher and she's really good right left hand, which is unique. And it really helps the offense because if we have a lot of lefties, she can go in and play righty. We have a lot of righties and she can go in and play lefty. So she's really a key piece to the team and she's just really owning the opportunities that she's gotten. And she's really impressed me so far. Our last question will be from Dean. Yeah, I wanted to go back to Megan Carney. When you just assess her skill set, like what makes her so good at dodging and feeding from X from behind the net? Mm -hmm. Well, I think Megan loves lacrosse and she's a total laxer and has a really high IQ. And all of that makes her so coachable. And, you know, she's just, she wants to learn. She's willing to learn. She and she loves the game. So she's really not focused on her individual performance. She's focused on the team. And because of that, she's able to be so successful. Um, and then her skill set, she's just, she's really skilled. She has a high IQ, like I said, and she's, she played fearless today. She just went out there. She, you know, she's got a great stick and was able to finish. I think she was four for four shooting. So, um, you know, she's just, she's just playing really well. She's playing fearless. And um, I think, Part of the reason is she just loves the game and she's just enjoying being able to play again.